Welcome to SBRForum.com. In this video, we're taking a look at Game 4 between the New York Rangers and the Los Angeles Kings. We've split up the videos. We're going to have one on the total, one on the game itself. So let's focus on the side play right now. You've got the Rangers laying about minus 130. Kings are again a road dog. And the question is, do you think the Rangers have it in them to make this last at least one more game? It's a tough question to answer because so far the Kings have dominated this uh, matchup. You know, when the Kings played poorly in games one and two, uh, they, they won in overtime. Obviously, the Rangers demoralized with their performance there. The Rangers have shown that they can't play with leads. The Kings have shown they can come back from uh, deficits, of course. And then, of course, when the Kings scored the first goal in game number three, it was lights out for the Rangers. Obviously, that goal was a backbreaker, but the Rangers showed no, uh, no capabilities of coming from behind, which is not a big surprise because we've seen that from them uh, virtually this entire postseason. When they have scored the first goal, they've been winning games. When they haven't scored the first goal, uh, they've had a tough time uh, winning those contests. So what do we expect for game number four? Well, I actually think that the Rangers do get the job done. I think that they're going to win. It's not a play that I love, but I do think that they extend this one more game. I remember back a couple years ago when, uh, you know, when the Kings were facing the New Jersey Devils in a very similar series. The Kings uh, were up 3-0 and the Devils came, uh, came back and I think they won at least one, you know, if memory serves me correctly, maybe even two games in that matchup, um, but I think the Rangers do get one uh, in game number four. You take a look at the Kings' performance in game number three, I mean only 15 shots on net and they still score three goals. Henrik Lundqvist got a save percentage of 892 in the Stanley Cup Finals, I mean he's been waiting his whole life to get here and he's playing very poorly, uh, although I don't really fault him myself, the Kings have just done a great job of getting to the front of the net, uh, getting traffic to him, a lot of their goals are tipped. Um, you know, it's uh, not necessarily his fault. I know it looks, it's, it's weird to defend him considering he's allowed at least three goals in every game, but in my opinion, very few goals uh, have been his fault in this series. Uh, so I think that Henry Glundquist plays better in game number four. The Rangers, uh, I think, are going to get the job done because of that. They have desperation on their side and really they win by quickness they get their goals by outskating their opponent using their speed and I think that you know that desperation is gonna light that fire under their ass to get going in game number four and get the job done uh, not gonna be a pretty one but I think the Rangers do enough to get by the Rangers or to get by the Kings and extend this at least one more game Thanks for watching this video right here on SBRForum.com. As mentioned, we've got another video up for you breaking down the total on the contest. Make sure you check that out because I actually think there's a better play on the total than there is on the side. Thanks for watching.